Well, Simon, thanks for joining us. A belated start to the season for everybody, but the Essex magician has shown that he's uh, lost none of his tricks and uh, got a bag full of uh, surprises, I'm sure, for a number of batsmen through what's going to be a short season. Yeah, I was quite disappointed how I bowled in the first innings last week. Um, I felt uh, nowhere close to my best, but I think in the second innings, I found what was wrong. Um, and yeah, it felt really good today. Um, bit of cat and mouse when uh, Laurie Evans was in. Um, but other than that, yeah, pretty good day for us. And as usual, Simon Harmer ends with the last word anyway, doesn't he? Yeah, I think uh, at Chelmsford, uh, it's normally the case. Um, always turn and bounce here. So I quite enjoy getting into battles with the batters. Um, but yeah, I back myself to uh, come out trumps at the end. <laughs> you mentioned last week um, you had a bit of a niggle though going into that game. Would that have affected your rhythm? Um, yeah, I think I was a little bit hesitant to try and sort of give everything I had because I didn't want to make it worse. I knew it was there. Um, I had been advised to miss the first two games and we were looking at possibly four to six weeks, which was pretty much going to be the season. So um, I had a long chat with the physios and we did a whole bunch of tests. There was no pain. Um, and so I decided to go against the medical team's wishes and, and play. Um, I can still feel it every now and then, but it's manageable and... Um, I'm quite keen to play some cricket, so unless it's going to affect my performance, it's not going to keep me off the path. Yeah. No game without pain. Yeah, it's something like that. <laughs> um, it was obviously great to get off to a winning start last week. Both sides have completed their first innings here. Um, we've got a 75 run lead on for first innings. Uh, how do you assess the remaining of uh, chances for this game? Two days to go. Sun's still beating down on that pitch, which I'm sure you'll be delighted to see. Yeah, I think um, we probably let us, if we're brutally honest, we let ourselves down a little bit in uh, the first innings in both games. I don't think there's any demons in the wicket and um i don't want to this i don't mean this in a in a negative way but it's it's not often that you get really good wickets like we've seen at the beginning of the season so far in terms of you don't very often see 450 being scored at chelmsford on on a regular occasion so when you do get those sort of wickets you want to try and cash in and i think our batters felt like they let themselves down um by not cashing in so I know that they're hungry to score runs and hopefully we can um, put in a big performance tomorrow and set the game up. Limited season, as we said, in um, Red Bull cricket. Um, do you set yourself any target as the amount of wickets you'd like to end up with? I do. I always write down my personal goals um, for the season. So I've got a little list of, of things that I want to tick off. Um, I'm a little bit superstitious, so we'll have to have a chat at the end of the season as to exactly what those are. <laughs> well, I'm sure if you keep taking six, that will be ticking off quite a few boxes. Um, just one last thing from me, um, saying about the delayed start. It must have been particularly frustrating for somebody like yourself, an overseas, classified as a, 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 a overseas, well, overseas, but a cold pack player coming in from overseas and then having to sort of click your heels waiting for the season to start, but actually not even knowing whether the season would start. How difficult was that for you? Uh, luckily enough, my girlfriend made it over just before lockdown started. Um, so I think that was my saving grace, having her over here, because, um, you know, when you're moving around all the time between here and South Africa, I feel a lot more settled when she's around. So... Um, yeah, I didn't. We both really enjoy living in the UK, so it gave us an opportunity uh, to explore Epping, where we've moved to now, um, sort of get out, do some walks in the forest, a uh, bit of running. Uh, Tom's just up, Tom Wesley is just up the road from me, so um, 
I think it would have been a lot different if, if I was wishing my life away because she was back in South Africa. So um, I didn't find lockdown too bad. Um, obviously, I'm young, so I didn't fall into any of the categories where I had to shield and, and all of that sort of stuff. So I cut myself pretty lucky. Um, but yeah, lockdown, it was not ideal, but it is what it is. Everybody's in the same boat, so we can bitch and moan about it. But um, I don't think any of us have really seen the worst of it. So, Plenty of opportunity to do cooking and keep up law studies. Yeah, always plenty of opportunity to do some cooking. <laughs>